Hello everyone, my name is Brennan. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday tutorial. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to create a simple cow, Minecraft cow, walk cycle. So let's get right away, right into it. Okay, so here's the cow, walk, uh, cow character, cow, Minecraft cow, um, in Blender. So what we want to do first is start off at the very first frame. Um, and we need to set the automatic keyframe insertion, turn that on. So what you do to turn that on is you just click on the little red dot. And there we go. Um, <clears throat> now that we have that on, excuse me, we have to animate each of these legs. And we're going to be animating each leg um, for we're going, going to animate it till probably from zero to, or actually one. I'm starting at one right here. So I'm going to start at one and then go to 10 and then duplicate those frames and keep duplicating them and it'll create a uh, looping walk cycle animation. So let's start with these legs on the right side. Let's start by pressing G. You can also select these bones because we're only, been using, only going to be using these feet bones right here. So I'm holding down shift and right clicking on each one. And now I'm going to sh hold down shift and right click on this body bone, which this one actually just controls the body um, like that with an IK setup. So let's select the main body one as well as these feet bones by just holding down shift and right clicking on each one. Okay. So now that we've selected all those, let's go ahead and press I on the keyboard. And it says up here, successfully added 190 keyframes for the key set whole character. So we're adding keyframes for the whole entire character, which we didn't need to do, but that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do now is go to frame ten, uh, 5, actually, because 5 is where we're going to add a little extra um, part of the animation. So he'll just go down at frame 5, so you go from your first frame, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it would probably be better to start at 0, let's just start at 0, and we can just move this back, this first one that we planted, or put, we can put it at the very first by pressing G, I selected, I press B on the keyboard, and that creates a border selection, and you can just select the keyframes that you want to select, and move them over, and there we go. Move them all the way to the first frame. There we go. They're the first frame now. Okay, so it looks like I actually don't have these at the first frame. Let's make sure everything is at the first frame, which is zero. Okay, so now let's go to five. The way we do that is we just go one, two, three, four, five. Or you can even type it in right here, which would be a lot easier actually. If you end up messing it up, you don't want to mess it up. So you can just type in five right there. And it's at frame 5. And all we do is drag it down a bit, like that. And then go 5 more frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At frame 10. And drag it up again. Or you can also, if you want to place it exactly where it was, press Alt-G on the keyboard. And that will undo the grab or the movement. The transform um, that you did previously. Okay, so now you can see go to the very first frame, press Alt-A, all he does is spring up like that, and what we want him to do is move his legs. So we'll start at the very first frame, grab this leg, the back the back right leg, go five frames, which would be at this middle center piece, middle center, um, that'd be at the center, that'd be at frame five. So let's just press G and Y, and that will drag his leg inward. And we'll do the same thing with this leg. Make sure you're at frame 5, G, and then Y. Bring it in. And I think about there should be good. Wait a minute. I think. Okay, no. That's not how I did it. I'm sorry. Let me take this off for both of these legs. Let's just do Alt G. Okay, make sure those are the right those are in the right position and I'll just take this off you don't have to do this part um, we're going to go to te frame 10 
So let's go to frame 10. Move the legs in. Right there. Move these legs out. Like that. So now if we go to frame 1, he goes up. Like that. And then... We'll go from there, because that's only one step of the animation. He goes up, like that. And then, we're going to go to frame 20. And he's going to go down, like this, but the opposite. So you, the right legs are going to go out. Then the left legs are going to go in, just like the other ones were. Just like this. And now he goes up, he switches legs, so he's going to go up like that, and then at frame 15, he's going to go down. So it's going to be like this, up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's going to keep repeating. So what we have to do is just select all of these frames. Let's just select every single one. Well, let's just select the ones that are anim animated, or the ones that we um, added extra frames of, which is, which would be the um, the legs, the uh, the knee, all these ones that have the extra frames going out. We'll just press Shift D on the keyboard, move it out. Let's see, where would it be repeating? So, right. Here he goes down, so if we play this back, let's see how this looks like. So he goes down, then he stays down. So we need to duplicate it from, probably from, let's delete those, from this one right here. Let's go ahead and duplicate this, these frames, drag them out. He'll go up again, so he goes from down to up, like that. So we'll need to separate these um, evenly. So let's make sure, let's open this up a little bit. And let's move this in like that to uh, line up with these frames right here. Okay. Let's play this back. Let's see how it looks. It goes up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Let's see how this looks without the legs. Hmm. Okay, I see what the problem is. What we need to do is match the um, legs because, as you can see, when he goes down, so he'll have to go up, then down, like that. Um, I think it's actually... I, I did it wrong, I'm sorry. He's supposed to go down in the center. He's supposed to go up on the edges. So at the very beginning frame, he'll go. He'll be up. Then he goes down in the center, and then at the very end, he goes up again. So I'm sorry about that, but I confused the way that I animated it. Um, okay, so this is what we're doing. We um, are going to select these frames again, the same frames that we selected earlier. which are only the ones that are sticking out like this. And let's press Shift D on the keyboard, drag it out to about there, and let's make sure everything is going great. Everything is going good. Okay, so we need to repeat it. Delete this frame right here, these frames I mean, and move this back to about that line right there, that frame 25. And let's press Alt A again, Let's see how this looks. It's up, down, up. Yep, it looks like it's working. So everything, let's see how this looks. Looks like he goes down in the center. He goes down at five, up at 10 is what he's supposed to do, but he didn't do that. So like this. Up, down, up, down, up. So he didn't do that. So let's just delete these frames and let's make sure 
down, up, down, up. Okay. That's what we want. Let's just duplicate all these after all. Thought it might mess it up, but it probably would if you were animating the whole thing, making it move in a certain direction. But let's just see how this looks. Okay, so need to delete these, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Let's move these right there. Yep. It's working. So all we have to do now is duplicate these frames that we have selected. Just keep duplicating these. Just keep duplicating and duplicating. Make sure they're lined up. So there won't be like a weird movement. Like he's not walking like he should be. Alright. And just you can keep duplicating as many times as you want and it will keep looping. You'll keep walking forever for many miles. And it's just great. So that's how you make a simple cow Minecraft walk uh, cycle animation. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out my other channels. I have many other channels doing many other things and you might enjoy them as well as this channel. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry for the problems of um, not doing the animation right or correctly, but I hope you learned something cool. I hope you learned something new and I hope this really helped you. So. I will see you guys next time.